Hi, I'm Jim Dugan. I'm a commercial real estate broker with Newmark Knight Frank. I'm here today to introduce a fellow Villanova Wildcat, Ted White, who is the CEO and president of Verica Pharmaceuticals. Well, I'd say the big, big milestones for the organization was the completion of our phase two clinical trials that showed that Cantharidin, which has been around since 1950, to treat uh, both molluscum contagiosum as well as common warts was effective. And that gave us the proof of concept to move into the phase three. So obviously we wanted to raise the money to make sure that we had enough financing to, to start those clinical trials for our two uh, phase three pivotal trials. So molluscum contagiosum has a prevalence in the U.S. of 6.1 million patients. As I mentioned, there are no FDA approved therapies. This is a highly contagious viral skin disease that is spread by skin to skin contact articles of clothing, playground equipment, and oftentimes it's picked up at swimming pools. There's a huge social barrier to molluscum contagiosum, and it's more so on the parents because the children aren't, aren't allowed to play in extracurricular activities, they're withheld from school activities because this is such a uh, spreadable disease. Oftentimes that the child will scratch or pick it at the lesion and then touch other parts of their body where they auto inoculate themselves. So it's a disease that's new crops appear each time. And with no FDA approved therapies, Verica has the opportunity to become the standard of care. There's no patents on, on the molecule. Cantharidin is a, a vesicant, it's a blistering agent. It comes from a beetle that's harvested in China. And so you might have heard people refer to beetle juice. So since it's a natural source, there's no patent on, on, the, um, on the compound itself, but it'll be, our patents will be on our single use applicator that we use to administer the product. To get uh, our funding started first in our Series A from PBM Capital, which is a, a private venture capital firm based in Charlottesville, Virginia, led by Paul Manning, a very successful entrepreneur. And then our Series B funding was with Perceptive, and then in, in our final Series C funding, we were able to get Perceptive to come in again, as well as Orbimed. Perceptive and Orbimed are very two well-respected uh, funds in the in the biotech industry. The recruitment of our two phase three pivotal trials was beyond my expectations. One of my concerns going into these trials was the fact that you have to recruit primarily children ages two to 14 into a clinical trial with a product that causes a blister. And most parents are not willing to put a child into a clinical trial. So I uh, used a service called Galen, which is a, a patient recruitment service for clinical trials. So we hired them. And what was uh, amazing was that after seven eight business days, we had to turn Galen, the service, off because there were too many patients that we've already exceeded the number of patients in the trial, which was well over 500. And I think the fact that we completed our phase three clinical trials two months ahead, ahead of schedule, it really speaks to two things. It speaks, number one, to the high un unmet need that there are no FDA approved therapies. And number two, how big, how significant this disease is in the U.S. Verica in five years, Will hopefully be a, um, my vision is to be a fully integrated dermatology company with a full portfolio. Right now we have one asset uh, with multiple indications which we're building a franchise around, but we're actively seeking to bring in new assets to the company to build out the pipeline. 